Hey dolls, so this is my April favourites. Oh my god. Um, and also there is a little surprise at the end of this video to celebrate a few things, but there is a hint in this video beforehand. So enjoy this video and stay tuned for the end and see what's coming up. Okay, so to start with, I'm gonna go into beauty because that's what I do, and then I go into random extras because that's just how I do this video. Um, before anyone says, my hair is naturally poofed for some reason today, so that's why I kind of just left it all natural. Okay, so I'm gonna do foundations first. Um, the two that I have been loving this month because I have really been away um, from uh, YouTube and my blog I know terrible um, but it's it's kind of because like um, I've been so busy and then I kind of been addicted to like gaming and stuff again and I just haven't really found time to do it and my inspiration kind of went and then suddenly it's now back again so now that I'm kind of had this time off I'm now getting straight back into it and I'm kind of excited for the next few months ahead. Anyway, so I'm going into foundation and the two that I've been loving as a kind of quick basic get ready um, are these two and they are the Bare Skin or Bare Minerals Bare Skin Foundation in Bare Porcelain which is the 01 shade which I think is the lightest and the Bigger Than BB Big Easy Liquid Powder uh, foundation whatever it is just it's like this now I've actually got this on today um, I do find it helps get rid of redness obviously covering up blemishes isn't like the best um, but it does kind of die down the redness especially on my face and it kind of makes everything match this is the lightest shade this is in fair one and it does go semi powdery I would say um, because it's still kind of a little tacky sometimes so like that's why I apply it with my hands because it's just so much so easy to apply it does dry really quickly that's the only problem um, and I find that I can't put concealer on over it because it just kind of wipes off so that's the only downside but this stuff is great for just quick and easy and the bare skin um, foundation I actually prefer to apply this by with my hands it is slightly hard to get out of the bottle because the bottle is semi squeezy it's not really um, I don't like the brush at all with this product which is kind of a shame because I love makeup brushes but I've kept the brush not that I've used it with anything else but um, I just find this so much easier to apply with my hands or my fingers um, because I find it a little bit oily and kind of greasy feeling and I found that like applying it with my brush several times or the brush it comes with I was using way too much product so that's kind of why I prefer to use it with my hands um, but I love this stuff and it's really easy to apply um, again it's almost similar to the BB one where it's like semi coverage um, but it's still really good I find this one has a little bit more coverage than the BB or better than BB foundation but this stuff is great um, though it is on like this slightly pricier side obviously because they're sort of high-end and I was I don't know I thought it was slightly bigger than this but um I do like that it's kind of the same style as um, the L'Oreal the Chanel Aqua Lumiere so I actually kind of like that kind of style and it just makes everything so much easier so that is my foundations things back in boxes is annoying. <laughs> um, also for my face, I have been loving, and this is like a cult favourite, but it's super expensive. It's like 50 49.99 or 49 pounds, so almost 50 quid. And this is the Charlotte Tilbury Film Star Bronze and Gold Face Sculpt and Highlighter. And it just looks like this. Now I got this as a gift, which is an amazing gift. I love like the little writing and the little star which I never noticed before um, and it comes in this gorgeous kind of rosy gold bronze packaging um, and comes with a massive mirror with actually a little star etched into it which I think is pretty cool and the highlight and bronzer and this stuff is amazing they're both brilliant products um, 
it's a shame to like use it because they are so amazing but as you can see I don't pack it on I don't actually contour with this I kind of warm up my contour like I contour with uh, my NARS Laguna and then I kind of warm it up and kind of bronze my face with this stuff and obviously highlight with this and they are just so amazing and I love this and I love how like it's kind of rosy gold um, writing all over it so I really like this and I really do want more Charlotte Tilbury stuff um, but as a first item I absolutely love this and I love the packaging it's so different to other packaging now for my eyes, I have been obsessed with the NARS Assist um, Dual Intensity Eyeshadow Palette. Um, this is the box, um, and this is the product. Uh, you're going to see me now. See, there's the camera. Um, so it's got a mirrored front, which is okay, but it does get a bit dirty, and it's got obviously a giant mirror in the inside. Um, and it comes with these two, four, six, eight intense eyeshadows, you've got your lights, your mediums, um, dark and then darkest. Um, now I found that this gold shade is like the most intensely shimmered and these are almost matted when I've intensed them so that's kind of a shame but you can see that these two are the kind of shades that I've been using a lot. Um, they are great dry, they're great wet, and I absolutely adore this brush it comes with. Um, so yes, I am obsessed with this eyeshadow palette. I just think it, it's basically 8 eyeshadows turned into 16. Yeah. Which I think is just fab, so I'm obsessed with this eyeshadow palette. Now, for my lips... I have been loving four products, <laughs> I know. Today I actually have on the NARS, um, what is it, a uh, lip stain pencil, which is in Recugian, Recugian, I think that's what, how you say it, I don't know if you can see it there, Recugian, um, which is a really nice kind of nudey pinkish colour, it just looks like this, um, it's very, very creamy. It does last a while but not like massively amounts but it's really nice and I love pairing it with my other um, product which is the Bobbi Brown Lip Pencil in Ballet Pink and I just think the Bobbi Brown stuff is just amazing. It's more of a brownie nude than like a pinker nude which I was actually quite surprised at because when you see Ballet Pink you think pink but it's actually more of a brownie pink. Well then it's more brown than pink, I found. So I love pairing these together and they just make the greatest combo ever. Um, also from Bobbi Brown, I have been loving the new Art Stick in Dusty Pink, which is basically a lip pencil. Um, it just looks like this. It actually comes off slightly darker than it does in the pencil, which isn't too bad. <laughs> so, sorry um which isn't too bad um so it is a really nice uh, shade i do want a few more of these um but that'll just have to wait for the moment um, and finally i have also been loving the mac matte lipstick in russian red this is by far my favorite red shade and i'm not a massive fan of reds um I mean, yeah, I have a few reds in my collection, but like I don't wear them all the time. But this one I have worn a lot more than the other one. I've actually worn this out as well. Um, it just makes my teeth look whiter. It complements my skin tone just perfectly. I absolutely love Russian red and I don't find it drying, which I do actually find Ruby Woo really, really drying. So I did purchase that one. I actually purchased this one and it was kind of on recommendation and I'm so glad that someone recommended this to me. It's just amazing. So if you're looking for that perfect red that kind of makes your teeth look whiter and especially for pale skin tones, this Russian red is just amazing. Finally for beauty, <laughs> it's kind of an odd one because not everyone will have this, um, but it's actually liquid latex. Uh, this is from Mihron. Mehron, something like that. Basically, if you see my Instagram over the last month, I have been doing so much more like um, prosthetic makeup stuff. Um, so, yeah, and this is actually going to come in handy next month with the stuff down 
at the end of this video um, but this stuff is amazing I hardly use any of it really but it's so great though the only problem is don't get it stuck in clothes because it does not come off once it's dried so that's the only thing I would say be careful of your clothes with this stuff but it's so great and I got this out of the special effects pro kit and I mean it's lasted well, since I've only just started it, it's lasting quite a while. But yes, I'm absolutely loving this. More than the spirit gun, which I'm quite surprised about because I got really upset when that was broken. I had to order another one, but I'm absolutely loving liquid latex. Okay, so that's the beauty, or sort of beauty, if you consider the last product that I showed you. Um, and now for the random bits. Um, so the first random bit is actually what's on my head, which is this kind of floral headband. Now... I've never actually worn these out, I've just kind of worn them around the house, um, but for some reason recently I have been absolutely loving this one, you might have seen it in my Instagram video when I did the zombie look, or the melted zombie look, which it ended up being, um, I wore this and actually I've been wearing it like a few times as well, so I'm absolutely loving this, and I just think once my hair is a bit more poofy it looks a lot better, so maybe I'll be wearing it out a bit more. Um, also, something else that goes on my head is this hat. I, it's from H&M. No, it's from Topshop. And I absolutely love this hat. I've never owned a hat like this, and I've always wanted one. It's kind of a floppy-ish hat. I'll put it on because I think it looks pretty. I like the fact that it kind of droops. You can make it droop, which is just amazing, but obviously not in these glasses. It just looks a bit silly hat hair but I absolutely love this I use this for my zombie mouth um, tutorial if you saw it on Instagram <laughs> it hasn't been up yet um, but yes I absolutely love this floppy hat and I can't wait to wear it even more I've only worn it twice I think um, I also have been loving these shoes from New Look or the boots from New Look um, these are amazing they've got three buckles on the side and it's kind of open and they're chunky heeled but they're not too high but they're high enough i find but they are just amazing i don't know if, i don't think they're leather but they're wide fit ones which i actually slightly prefer like in boots anyway um because uh it, during the winter and stuff you want to wear thicker socks and i find that if you don't have like a slightly wider fitting shoe it is a bit snug and tight so I actually really do like these boots and I've worn them a few times with dresses as well as like trousers and stuff and they just look amazing so I'm loving these oh god disappearing now um, and my final two thing no they're not my final two things um, I've also been loving this uh, necklace it's from River Island uh, I think it can't remember how much it costs. It's almost chokerish style because it isn't very loose fitting. It is fairly like around the neck, but it doesn't like stab you, so it's slightly looser than a proper choker. But it's almost choker style, so it's not very long. But it's so pretty. I mean, just look at it. And it clasps at the back, and it's just amazing. And if you're wearing something plain, you just throw this on, and you just look amazing. So now my final two products, um, products, final th things I've been loving this month. The first I have to show you on my phone is this game on Xbox, which is basically Oddworld Munch's Odyssey. If you know Abe, Abe's Oddworld um, from like PlayStation One, uh, this was an Xbox One game, not like Xbox One the original Xbox game that you can actually play on Xbox 360 so I actually picked it up for £2 which is a bargain from CEX um, which is great the only thing is there's no sound or there is occasionally sound but not really it's only background sound you get so I actually turn the background sound off and then I wait until I can hear noises but generally it's not always the case I pretty much almost completed it I'm two levels away from completion which is great for me since I'm kind of a nerd and I've had it since last Tuesday so I've had it for just over a week so that's not too bad for me I've had games that I've had like a week or a couple of days that I've completed so 
I am kind of a geeky gamer girl. Um, but yes, I've been loving this game. It kind of brought back old memories of me playing it and I've never got this far through the game anyway, so I'm kind of chuffed with myself. Um, so yes, I'm really enjoying that one and it's a shame that I can't play it for a few weeks yet to finally complete it since I'm two levels away which is so annoying. Um, and the last game that I've been loving is on PlayStation 4 and it's Resident Evil Revelations 2. This is brand new I believe. Yeah, and I uh, picked up for £27 from Sainsbury's. Um, now, I have to say, I'm saying this is an April favourite because actually, in fact, I only played it yesterday and I was literally addicted to it. Um, I played it two-player because this is very hard to find two-player games on the new Xbox One and PlayStation 4 and this is actually a two-player game, which is great. So I've ac I was playing it with two-player with my partner and it was really addictive. We've got onto the third part now so I can't wait to play it even more <laughs> so nerdy um, but yes uh, I'm really enjoying this and I actually couldn't stop thinking about it when I was trying to go to sleep so yeah so that is all my April favourites just so you know they are my April favourites um, so Here's the good part, so if you have guessed or you've skipped to near the end, which shame on you, you haven't watched all my video, um, but basically this is my very first competition. Um, I reached a hundred uh, followers on Instagram and I said that I, when I reached a hundred on certain uh, media, social media, I was going to do a competition. And I realised that I haven't done anything, or it, I've been a hundred followers, or and now I'm slightly over a hundred um, followers on Instagram for about two, three months now, and no one has called me up on it about the competition, but I'm now doing it because if you hadn't guessed when I uh, said about I was wearing it, um, the new uh, Jurassic World film is coming out in cinemas on the 11th of June. Now, they it was the 12th of June and now it's changed to the 11th of June, which I'm not 100% sure why, but basically because I am a massive fan of the franchise and I'm so looking forward to the film, I'm literally obsessed. That's how much it is. I'm actually starting setting up a competition for the entire month of May. And at the end of May, the entrance opens on the 1st of May and ends on the 30th, 31st of May and then three days after that which will be the 3rd of June I will announce the three winners of the competition. Now there will be a first, second and third place and second and third both get the same gift regardless um, but the first prize is if it was me I would be like woo woo. Now um, my the first place uh, person uh, will receive the Jurassic Park Trilogy on, I will say Blu-ray, but if you don't have a Blu-ray player then I'll give it to you on DVD, simple as, um, and a £20 Odeon voucher to go see the film or see whatever film you want to, if you've already pre-ordered, um, and second and third will get a £10 Odeon voucher, so, you know, it's like basically a free movie, you know, or you can spend £10 on snacks, or it's entirely up to you what you spend the voucher on. Obviously it has to be an Odeon. Um, I would ex now I've told you the prizes, I should really tell you what the competition is about. Basically, if you follow me on Instagram or Twitter or YouTube, um, you will know that I'm starting to get into my prosthetic makeup and kind of over the top strange different looks. Now this competition is open to all you beauty gurus, beauty, bloggers, beauty enthusiasts. Basically, what I want you, I'm asking for this competition, for you to enter, I want you to be create, as creative as possible and transform yourself into anything related to Jurassic Park. I mean anything. So you can change yourself into a dinosaur, a character from the films, or even like the logo. You can be as creative as possible. The only thing 
that will disqualify you from entering the competition is if you use anything that isn't done by yourself. So if you go out to Toys R Us and buy a mask or something like that or have a mask at home and you just put it on, that will disqualify you because that's not really what this competition is about. Um, so it's all kind of up to you how you do it. This is only open to UK people only, but you probably guessed that from me telling you what the prizes were um, because I can't actually get anything for states for the cinema or anything like that. So that's kind of the problem. Um, but basically that is it. Well, that's what I would like you to do. You also have to follow me on Instagram and Twitter is the main ones and leave a comment on my website or my blog uh, under the April favourites plus competition just to tell me why you love Jurassic Park or why you like Jurassic Park um, and you can follow me on any of my other social media websites but those are the two that you need to be following and the one that you need to comment on there is a lot of rules they will be linked down they will be written in the description bar down below but I also uh, want to say that um, I will be choosing weekly favourites so at the end of the week I'll choose a couple of people that I think are really really good um, and I'll do like a little collage and show you that, um, who I'm so far rooting um, until obviously the last day which is obviously the 31st of May. Now three days after that as I said I will be choosing a um, three winners. Uh, in those three winners it doesn't matter if you entered on the you I put you on the weekly or not. Um, it just is who I think has stand, stood out the most and I think is just really good. You can put as many pictures as you possibly can if you want to um, just to show me all the kinds of looks. So you don't just have to do one, you can do as many as you want. It's not like a one per person. Um, and I'll obviously choose the winners. Um, now, you can send these as photos or videos through Instagram or Facebook or if you have done a YouTube or something else, just let me know through Twitter or Instagram just so I can check it out. Um, but I don't mind how you do it, video or pictures, it's entirely up to you. Um, now, if you do... If you're sending it through Instagram or Twitter, um, it would be great if you use my username so I can go straight to it. And if you can do hashtag Jurassic Jess Comp so that I know that you've entered my competition. Um, so yeah, uh, here's the important bits. You must be 18 years old or over, or you have permission from your parents to enter this competition because obviously there's all these kind of Things. I just want to point that out. Um, I don't want you entering this competition if your parents don't want you and you're under the age of 18, just so you know. Um, and that, I think, is everything. Um, yes, it, after three days and I've chosen my three winners, I will announce them on Instagram and Twitter and I'll directly message you the three winners just to let you know that you've won and to tell me your details so I can send you out your prizes. Um, this is my very first competition so I'm really excited and obviously it's for something that I really really enjoy. I'm actually going to be taking part in my own competition but obviously I don't win the prizes. Um, just to show you what um, the box set actually looks like, it looks like this. Um, I, I own obviously the Blu-ray version um, and I just love these films. So it's kind of a my love kind of shed to, spread to you. And since it is the month before the film comes out, it gives you plenty of time to catch up on the Jurassic Park and kind of have fun with it as well because I'm really looking forward to it. Um, I hope you guys enjoyed this video. Give it a thumbs up if you did, subscribe if you're not and leave a comment down below what you think, if you're entering, anything. Um, I hope to see your entrance entries soon um, and I can't wait. <laughs> um, I'll see you in my next video which could end up being a Jurassic Park themed video. So bye!